it's time. Ball! Wrestling. Come here! Come here! Tuesday? gentlemen ronald ray here your boy with a cornbread accent welcoming you to this week's episode of wrestling trivia tuesday appreciate everybody tuning in of course if this, if this is your first time watching what i do is every tuesday I ask five questions all dealing with the sport of professional wrestling and if this is your first time watching it be a champion and click on that subscribe button also uh Go ahead, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Let me know how you did. All that will be greatly appreciated. Well, without further ado, let's let it rip. All right, question number one. What type of match did Jake the Snake Roberts and the model Rick Martell have at WrestleMania 7? Was it A, a lumberjack match, B, a no disqualification match, or C, a blindfold match? Alright, question number one again. What type of match did Jake the Snake Roberts and the Rick Mar the model Rick Martell have at WrestleMania 7? Was it A, a lumberjack match, B, a no disqualification match, or C, a blindfold match? The answer is C, a blindfold match. Yes, uh, they started an angle here on a Brother Love show where they got tangled up and Rick, the model Martell, sprayed a little arrogance into the eyes of Jake Roberts. Uh, this, of course, helped build up to a blindfold match. Heard us, some critics call this a dud of a match, but if you go back and watch it, or if you did watch that then, people were actually into it. And Jake Roberts will say this is probably the most over easiest match he ever did because the only thing he had to do was point and hit the DDT and win. That's all he had to do. Anyway, let's go to question number two. All right, question number two. Who did Mr. Anderson defeat to become the new TNA World Champion at TNA Genesis 2011? Was it A, Jeff Hardy, B, Rob Van Dam, or C, Kurt Angle? All right, question number two again. Who did Mr. Anderson defeat to become TNA World Champion at TNA Genesis 2011? Was it A, Jeff Hardy, B, Rod Van Dam, or C, Kurt Angle? The answer is Jeff Hardy. Yes, Jeff Hardy turned heel at the time, uh, and they made him they made him his own personal little title. That's the reason I had to make sure I uh, found the picture of Mr. Ken Anderson with the actual TNA World title, or that would have totally gave away the answer. So, uh if you got this one right, give yourself a pat on the back. And of course, shortly afterwards, they turn Ken Anderson heel. Don't get it. DNA was kind of, kind of lost at this point. Alright, question number three. What NWA World Tag Team Champions use Queen's Will Will Rock You as their entrance music? Was it A, Dusty Rhodes and Manny Fernandez? B, The Rock and Roll Express? Or C, Rick Rude and Manny Fernandez. All right, question number three again. What NWA World Tag Team Champions used Queens? We will rock you as their entrance music. Was it A, Dusty Rhodes and Manny Fernandez? B, Rock and Roll Express? Or C, Rick Rude and Manny Fernandez. 
The answer is C, Rick Rude and Manny Fernandez. Yes, Manny Fernandez turned heel on Jimmy Valiant. They brought Rick Rude in, made him a tag team. They went on, on to beat the Rock and Roll Express for the World Tag Team Champions. And yes, they used uh, Queens We Will Rock You as their entrance music. Uh, before they were a team, Rick Rude came out to Smooth Operator, and Manny Fernandez actually came out to uh, beat it by Michael Jackson a few times, not all the time. Uh, anyway, let's go to question number four. Okay, question number four. Who defeated Rhino to win the vacant ECW Television Championship at ECW Living, Dangerous, Living Dangerously 2000? Was it A, Spike Deadly, B, Super Crazy, or C, Masato Tanaka? All right, question number four again. Who defeated Rhino to win the vacant ECW Television Championship at ECW Living Dangerously 2000 pay per view? Was it A, Spike Deadly, B, Super Crazy, or C, Sato Tanaka. Well, the answer is B, super crazy. Uh, don't think I've ever seen that pay-per-view. Uh, but, man, they was getting a lot of good talent, a good young crop of talent at the time. Super crazy, Masato Tanaka, uh, Tajiri, uh, and Rhino, of course. But, unfortunately, uh, the party didn't last long, as I think it was within a year, uh, the next year that ECW closed its doors. Anyway, let's go to main event question number five. All right, here we go, question number five. What mask gimmick did Mr. Wrestling 2 use before becoming Mr. Wrestling number two? Was it A, the technician, B, the grappler, or C, Mr. Atlanta? Question number five, one more time. What mask gimmick did Mr. Wrestling 2 use before becoming Mr. Wrestling number two? Was it A, the technician, B, the grappler, or C, Mr. Atlanta? Well, the answer is B, the grappler. Uh, yeah, so uh, the guy who got on the mask as Mr. Wrestling number two, uh, Used the name the grappler before Lynn Denton and Tony Anthony. Uh, let's see, don't know anybody who used the technician. Mr. Atlanta was a local wrestler named Tommy Zane, I believe that was his name, or Tom Zane. Uh, actually, would feud with Mr. Wrestling too uh, up until his retirement. Anyway, that does for this week's Wrestling Preview Tuesday. Appreciate everybody tuning in, and like I said. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did. Also, leave a like if you, well, have some fun. Yeah, try to have some fun with this. Share with your friends and play against each other. Until next time, you folks have a good one and take it easy. Hey there. Thank you for checking this out. If you enjoyed it, share with friends. Drop a like button. Leave a comment. Also, be a champ and hit that subscribe button. You can also check me out on social media, Facebook, at Ronald Ray. On X or Twitter is RPATRPTV46. Until next time. So long from the Peach State of Georgia. <laughs>